Then and now, we work the trains. And guess what? We still love it. Thank you. Before we go any further, many of you, many of you may not know that Cincinnati Public School five years ago instituted a district-wide Hall of Fame induction process. And with that process, there's several years tonight that's been inducted in the district-wide Hall of Fame. You got Sergeant Turner, uh, Edwards Johnson, Anderson, and Kennard, and uh, Nelson, and Wood. Uh, I yanked. I was told that I was supposed to go in the the world with the boss to see how I spell the new So that means something wrong. I'm going to check it out in a minute. We'll see. All right, we call war. Thank you for being my little 
Thanks for having me. I'm going to come on. Terrific back here. I'll have Nelson and all of them And that was another guy waiting in the back, Herman Carter. And he went to the professional leagues in Canada. So that's four people from the backfield, five people from the backfield that went on to the purpose. Okay. When Allen went to school, they won cross country, football, basketball, track, baseball, sorry. And that's all they had. <laughs> Thank you so much for your patience. After this, we have two more. Thank you so much for your patience. How many of y'all this is a historical first ever event? And if you're 40 or 50 years old, you're not going to do anything but go home and lay down here.
1956, graduated about the time of high school. Six plus and left to two sports in three years in high school. Then arrived back on defense in high school. Led to the public high school league. I'm the Mitchell team. Second All-Star and All-City team. Top pole vaulter. Ohio High School Track Championship. Taps Athlete of the Year in 1956. And Taps Hall of Legend in 1956. Our next inductee at the 2014 Hall of Fame is Mr. Curtis Whitfield.
If there's any young aspiring athletes in the audience, male or female, let me tell you a secret. After the event, find the athlete that you was most impressed by and go up and rub yourself against him and touch him, get his autograph so you can get the impartation <laughs> to go to the level that you dream about. Wow. Our inductees in future, Hall of Fame inductees at TAF, will have their plaques displayed along the TAF Wall of Fame, along the gym in the near future. I saw Jimmy Wynn about five years ago when I was in Kansas City visiting the Negro League Museum. And I talked to him about coming home and I talked to him about just always being that model for other aspiring baseball players. And at one time I did a historical list of all the athletes that came out of town and respected sports and we're going to share it on the website that's going to be designed. James, Jimmy, Sherman Wynn attended Tab High School after graduation. He went to my alma mater, Central State, in Wilberforce. Jimmy was signed by the Cincinnati Reds as an amateur free agent in 62. Jimmy's major league baseball debut was July 10, 1963. At age 21, he played professional baseball until September 27, 1977. Jimmy went opened his season with the then Houston Coke 45, now the Houston Astros as a starting center fielder and was sent back before being called back up in September where he finished the season as a starting center fielder. Jimmy was a fixture that ran in the Astros outfield through 1973. One of his most notable teammates was Joe Morgan of the Cincinnati Reds. And he played on June the 10th in 1967 at Crawford Field. And most of you that don't know Crawford Field used to be located at Finley and Western Avenue. Jimmy was a player who walked a lot, giving him a high percentage on base percentage. He was also known as a toy cannon. And they named him that because he was small, but he could really hit a ball a long way. So, accepting on Jimmy's behalf, I saw his brother Joy, who I had the pleasure of playing baseball with on Bank Street on several occasions, and Jimmy deserves to be inducted into the Tash Hall of Fame as well as the Baseball Hall of Fame of America, accepted on his behalf his brother, Joy Wynn. Turner, who was in training for Evander Holyfield and others. 
by the studies they saw.